Já jsem Kateřina, jsem učitelka češtiny pro cizince and this is lesson 7 from my zero to A1 level course in Czech. In this lesson you will learn how to talk about yourself and ask some simple questions about your conversation partner. First of all, let's dive into some listening comprehension. Look at exercise 1 in your exercise sheet. There you will see two dialogues that you will be listening to right now. One will be formal and the other one informal. Listen and write down the words that are missing. Feel free to listen twice and don't worry if you don't understand every word for now. Dobrý den. Dobrý den. Rozumíte česky? Rozumím. Jak se jmenujete? Jmenuji se Jaros. A odkud jste? Jsem ze Španělska. Co děláte? Je, je, ještě jednou prosím? Co děláte? Promiňte, jak se řekne český investor? Investor. Jsem manažer a investor. Děkuju. Prosím. Mějte se hezky. Naschledanou. Naschledanou. Čau. Jak se máš? Dobře. Rozumíš česky? Promiň, ještě jednou prosím. Rozumíš česky? Ano, rozumím. Jak se jmenuješ? Jmenuji se Lucka. Těší mě. Mě taky. Odkud jsi? Jsem z České republiky. A co děláš? Jsem fotografka. Wow, to je cool. Tak ahoj, měj se hezky. Ty taky. How did that go? If you didn't catch all the words, feel free to listen a couple more times and now let's see the answer. Now that you know the answers, feel free to play these dialogues one more time. That way you will hear again the dialogues in full and the words, sounds and maybe even meanings will become clearer. And now let's learn the actual meaning of the text. Go to exercise number two. This might be a bit of a guessing game. There you will see sentences from the previous dialogues in English. Your task is to find the Czech translations in the dialogues from exercise number one and write them down. Pause the video and come back once you're finished. Now, let's have a look at the answers. Take a moment and write me down in the comments below. How does this exercise go? Do you like guessing the meaning? Do you feel like you're memorizing the vocabs better by finding out the translation on your own? This will help me better customize the content for you in the future. Now go to the exercise number three. Write down the sentences you see there in the appropriate formal or informal table and then translate these sentences into your own language. Give yourself a minute again. And here are the answers. As you saw, the formal and informal conversations are quite different. 
Sometimes the difference was in the words that we used. For example, Dobrý den versus Ahoj. But other times the difference was in the ending of the words. For example, měj versus mějte. Promiň versus promiňte. Or máš versus máte. We also touched the topic of where are you from and what do you do. In the next lesson, we will look at the rules for how these endings change and how to correctly answer these questions. Now a final challenge from this lesson. I will ask you a question and it will be your job to react correctly to it in Czech. You will be speaking. If you need a little longer to think, feel free to always pause the video or listen to me a couple times. You will see one of the possible answers in a couple of seconds on the screen. Let's go. Dobrý den. Děkuji. Jak se jmenujete? Jak se řekne česky hello? Těší mě. Mějte se hezky. Naschledanou. Promiňte. Rozumíte česky? Well done. How did it go? If you have any questions to these exercises, write them down in the comments below right away. I will be happy to help. And don't forget to watch the next lesson, number eight, to know how to speak about your nationality and your profession. And now some homework. Today is a special day because your task will be your first Czech writing challenge. Go back to the two conversations from this video, close all, all other Czech materials, listen to these again and write them down on a paper or your laptop. Try to write down the whole conversation just from listening to them. Be careful about the formal and informal versions and check your spelling afterwards with your handout. Second, complete the rest of the homework section and third, go to the lesson number seven in the vocabulary app linked down below and practice all the vocabulary you learned so far in this course. I hope you're enjoying learning with me. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and if you find this video and content useful, please let me know by hitting the like button. That will let me know that this type of content is useful to you and you will help us reach our ultimate goal and dream of helping every foreigner in the Czech Republic speak better, more fluent and more beautiful Czech. If you would like to support this channel even further, help me produce more content and get more personal assistance from me along your way to Czech fluency, feel free to support me on my Patreon as well. Link in the description. Keep learning, keep studying, and I will see you in the next video. Mějte se hezky, díky a ahoj.